I wish I could say to you I'm one of those bloggers that never wears the same thing twice, but that is so unrealistic for me because once I find a top or an outfit or something that I love, I wear it over and over and over until it literally either falls apart or I can't wear it anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm doing with this jumper right now. It's one of my favorite pieces that I have bought this season. It has a little cross at the top. You've probably already seen it in Vlogmas, but I thought I would show it to you how I'm wearing it a different way today. I'm wearing it with some flares, some black booties, and I'm actually taking my Alaya bag, which I unboxed recently, out for the first time, doing a little bit of autumnal colors, I guess. And I'm also wearing my moon earrings that come with the matching studs and I have a very very fun highly anticipated evening coming up tonight but let me tell you about that in the car. So tonight I am going to Jack's mum's house for dinner. She is on a TV show in the UK called The Apprentice and she's one of I believe the judges and we're gonna watch it tonight and have a party probably <laughs> knowing them. Getting crunched by the yeah. fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Having a little gin and yeah. tonic. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. My friend Misty yeah. and she has an amazing brand which I'm gonna show you in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Bad luck to yeah. cheers and not hey. drink. Misty. We Sorry. like drinking, we like cheers. Misty's actually really funny. I mean I'm not used to this vlogging but I'm getting I just whipped out my camera. Like really natural, really natural. You look a lot like me. Can you show us an actual outfit? Listen, I'm not an influencer, but I'm going to try for tonight. Okay. The vibe. The green skirt. Stop, wait, 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 wait. I'm doing this properly. Okay. How many people want to just see more than 100? Yeah. The vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Green. Yes. With a bit of black painted because like, classy but slutty. Yeah. I might be out more. Okay. Matching the green is this. Yeah. This is your brand, this right? This is my brand. This is your baby. Yeah. We make acrylic bags. But we're at a family event, so if anyone asks, it could be a Christmas tree. Yeah. CBD. Be the one. You decide. Okay. We know what it is. Okay. Yeah. And then. Go. That's very clever. So the handle goes in. The handle goes in, and so not much can fit in it. Only the necessities: a phone, a card, and some lip gloss. Okay, I love that you're honest. Okay, and where is your top from, and where is your skirt from? Yeah, the skirt is you won't believe what it is. Top shop. Really, it looks amazing. Wow, and, these, and the shoes. Uh, They're so pretty. I've forgotten the brand. It's like that brand. What is this? I have no Don't idea. But so they're very gorgeous. Oh my god, Misty, you are a natural. Christmas. I, I die at the pickles. What goes on in Jack's kitchen? Right, okay, I'm stealing one before anyone comes downstairs. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh oh. <laughs> Jack, you got me drunk already, and it's not even dinner time yet. I've had one drink. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what are we? Oh my god, Jack, we have an SOS situation. The potatoes are going deep. No, 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 no. Jack, you need to get all the potatoes right now. is literally what I want to be like as a mom. Like, Jack's mom is so fun. She just has these crazy parties on a Wednesday. Like, and we watched The Apprentice, which was really good. She was so good on it. She's so sassy, I love it. I just used this highlighter, which is from Estee's Nude Sticks kit. And I'm actually going to the launch brunch of the kit today. I'm going to use blush as well. This she gave to me a little while ago. I feel like I'm an EIP because I got it early. This is a gorgeous blush colour by the way. The whole kit comes with lips, blush, highlighter. Blush is so 
pretty and awakening. I love cream products that I didn't use to. But actually it was Estee that got me into cream things. I'm actually also gonna use this Nude Sticks. What is this even called? It's like their cream stick, but they also do it in bronzy colors and darker colors as well. So gonna bronze up my face a bit with this. I'm going all out for her brush today. Before I get ready, I wanted to give you a little run through actually, because I'm just about to do my at home laser on my legs. And loads of people have been asking me since I put it on my Instagram stories how I use the Braun Silk Expert Pro 5 IPL. So I will show you now. So as you guys know, I have been using it on my legs. It comes in this kind of beautiful printed travel pouch, which is all compartmentalized. And we have three things in here. First of all, we have a Venus razor to shave yourself before you actually do the IPL. Then we have the actual IPL machine, the Born Silk Expert Pro 5. And then we also have a kind of more targeted head attachment, which you can add on if you want to do smaller areas like your bikini line or your face. This is seriously such a time saving tool that you can use so easily in the comfort of your own home. I literally don't need to go to a salon, don't need to factor in time of like getting there, going home. Literally, if I have like a spare 10 minutes, that's perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna plug this guy in. It's actually claimed to have really long lasting visible hair removal in just four weeks if you use it at least once a week. Let me just turn it on here. You press this middle button to change the modes. There are three modes, normal, gentle, and extra gentle. I use normal on my skin type and that works well for me. So it has something called, by the way, I've just changed into a little shorts to show you how I actually use it. But the machine has something called the Sensor Adapt technology, which basically continuously adapts to your skin type to make sure you get the safest and most comfortable experience. But it also kind of adjusts the light intensity so literally what I do let me pull the camera down here so you can see all right here we go got my freshly shaved leg so what I do is I literally put it on my skin and just run it through whilst holding the button and it is so quick and so easy to use takes me literally five to ten minutes max to do my legs so now I'm just going to speed you up as I do my whole legs That is literally my legs done. That took me, what, like less than seven minutes even? I just wanna show you guys how you can actually change the head. So this one is the one I just used on my legs. It's probably the one for like bigger, larger areas. And then this one is the little guy, which is more for like bikini line, facial hair, any more smaller targeted areas. And you literally just click it on like that to change it. This smaller head is also better for more sensitive areas. I will leave some links down below if you wanna go and check it out read more about it and if you want to purchase it as well all the information will be in the information box below quick outfit of the day before we leave you can see the remnants over there of my outfit changes I only changed once which is like a world record for me I'm wearing this pink cute little cozy jumper dress today I wanted to dress up and it's just so cold and I don't have any tights I literally don't even own tights and I have this vintage Chanel belt on my little lady dior bag and these grey boots and I'm gonna wear a long coat so that my legs are covered but this dress is actually quite short so I would recommend sizing up um, if you're gonna get it and I'll link it down below before I go to Estes I'm actually meeting one of my friends Cassie Cassie and I actually met at an Aspinall event she introduced herself to me I think I even vlogged it like a couple of years ago so I'll put that in now are you Amelia? yes oh, hi nice to meet you yeah of course so I just met Cassie. Oh, hi everyone! And I just became obsessed with her. And I love her Instagram. I love her content. I'm literally obsessed with her. Like every time I see a place or like stumble across a place that she's oh crap, I'm in the bus lane. That she's shot at. I'm like, oh my god, Cassie shot here the other day at the charity event we walked past this Christmas bauble that she had shot at and I was like, oh my God, this is Cassie's like little bauble. <laughs> Today is poll day. It is the day where everyone votes in the UK. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't used to vote and I watched, and I can't remember what it was, but it was something where 
the women fought so hard. It was like something about history. I don't know if it was a documentary. I can't remember, but it really, the part in this, I wonder if it was a film. Anyway, it really stuck with me how hard the women fought to get a vote. And some women actually died fighting, trying to have a voice. And after that, I was like, I'm never not voting again. All these women fought so hard for us to be able to vote and I always kind of used to think like oh, okay whatever like it doesn't like my voice doesn't really matter sort of thing um but after watching that I need to remember what it was I'll put it on the screen when I remember it's gonna come to me like as soon as I'm falling asleep or something but it was crazy seeing how much these women um in London fought to be able to vote and have a voice and that's something that we take so like so much for granted I guess now <laughs> Cassie just almost started eating and then she yeah, was about to eat and then she put everything back together <laughs> Cassie I need you to do a jewelry outfit of the day oh, for me yeah. sorry oh my god I keep interrupting your food okay, okay. sorry it's a, it's a good point. <laughs> the outfit is presented so jewelry yeah. OOTD yeah we have the um, moon earrings from Mini Oh my god, you're so cute! <laughs> I die! Moon as well. And this is a special edition. I love what you've done. Of the necklace, which I turned into a double wrap bracelet. I'm dying. I love that you've done that. It looks so cute. It's like a little charm bracelet. Thank you. <laughs> Cassie was just like, what lipstick is that? And I was like, plumful, but does this mean it's moldy? Does that mean it's moldy? I think it might be. It's a bit grim. This is questionable. <laughs> How grim is that? What do your lipstick bullets look like? Because it says something about you, you know? Like, this is my one. I don't know what that means, but it definitely says something about your personality. Just finished at brunch with Cassie, and now, oh, hi! Am I late? No. Oh right, okay. Hello. You're never late. You're I literally just was like, time. wait, where are you going? Um, I need the lift, I need the lift. No. I just had a moment of panic seeing Alessandra leave and I was like, have I missed it? Have I come at the wrong time? But no, I'm on time. <laughs> oh snap. I'm wearing it on my face. I'm wearing the whole kit. Yeah, like a true fan. Here we are, here it is. This is what I'm wearing, your blush. I'm wearing the highlighter. The little thing on the inner corner of my eye. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to the creation of Nude But Not. I've just sat down and I'm with Sammy and I literally just put on her handbag because I love it so much. I was like, hey there, Look how cool this is. And this, look at the chain. It's so cute. And pretty. And it's beige as well. And cool. Maybe some beige one. Yeah. I prefer the black one. Oh my god. Oh. Like this is so cute. You can put anything here on the tissue. Yeah, I'm like, is anything? Yeah. Just got home, and I'm running upstairs because a mirror just arrived. Oh my gosh, it's here. <gasps> my glam core mirror is here. Yes. This is not just any mirror because I have one and two. This is a light up mirror, so I can see my outfits in the dark. Look, here's the switch. Should we see if it turns on? Oh. <laughs> Lol. <gasps> oh my gosh, then you can adjust it. So I can show you my outfit in the mirror. Oh, it's gone a bit weird. Hold on. Let me take this off. Hold on, let me turn this. Let me turn this down. Let's take this off. Ready for the christening? Oh my gosh. My shroom is officially ready to begin now. Yes. Y'all ain't ready for this. Woo! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is literally the best thing ever. The lights up the whole room, especially when it's so dark right now. I'll leave a link to Glamcore down below. I also have their face mirror, which I need to bring up and put on my dressing table there. And I think I might move that mirror into my office. <sighs> I am happy. I have been waiting for this since like the beginning of October or something. And it has been shipped. Finally, finally got here. So, of course, the 
the person that would remember the film I was talking about earlier about women voting was called was Pia and the film was called The Suffragettes. I knew Pia would know the answer. I sent her and Liv a voice note and I was like, what film am I talking about? Where did I watch this? She knew. And what else do I have to tell you? That was a lovely brunch fest day. Honestly, look at the products. It's still on my face. It's still making me glow. So I will link it down below. You can go and check it out. It's exclusive to Selfridges. And now I have been invited to Dr. Dre. He has a very renowned clinic in London. And they said, do you want to come in for a consultation? And I have no expectations of what I want to do today. And I have no sort of like requirements, but I thought it would be interesting to meet them and see what they think. They do a lot of treatments for sort of skin elasticity and hydration. And they also do, you know, Botox filler, things like that. Um, I'm not sure on the latter. <laughs> we shall see. I'm not against anything. I just want to see what they kind of have to say and have a look around their clinic, hear about the different treatments. I know this is one of the best places to go. So many of my friends, my friends' mums go there and I've heard about them so much. So I literally jumped at the opportunity to go to the clinic. Um, I was actually with one of my friends mum's last night and she was telling me what she gets done there and I was like wow because you literally cannot tell I am in the Dr. Dre clinic now ready preparing my face for the doctor I'm gonna take off my makeup this is so serious <laughs> there's a lot on there mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of makeup on this face so I've had some numbing cream on my face for about five minutes about to do the mesotherapy. It basically, does it like suction almost into your skin? Is that how? It's like kind of like micro needling. It puts in your skin all these vitamins and hyaluronic acid and it just aims to make everything more plump and juicy. And apparently you can see the effects immediately. So I'm really excited because I feel like my skin is just pulling down my face, you know? It needs a bit of perking up. It's getting scary, it's not. <laughs> One side of my face is done. Lisa is done. My skin is looking nice and fresh. It's kind of a weird experience because it's almost like boo -boo 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 on your skin, as you can see. But I actually think I'm already looking more glowing. Now doing a little hyaluronic acid mask. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am getting ready for the day, doing my makeup here, and I have to tell you how impressed I was with the Dr. Dre clinic yesterday. Everyone I met in there was so professional. I kind of understood the reason why all my friends and my friends' mums go there and rave about the clinic in London and in Paris, because you can just tell how much experience everyone has. The mesotherapy was kind of not what I expected. I would say it's more sort of a clinical version of a facial, I guess. You can see my skin tone today looks so even and really glowing and very, very plump. I am going back next week for a follow-up treatment, so I'll kind of keep you updated because I did meet with one of the doctors yesterday, Dr. Benjamin, and we got on really well. <laughs> I really liked him. And it was, oh, I haven't done my eyeshadow there. And it was really interesting to see what he has to say. I feel like a lot of my job is looking back at my face, either like editing videos or editing pictures or going back and forth on different videos or pictures or content or anything. So I feel like if I didn't have this job, I wouldn't notice so many things about my face. So it's interesting seeing someone, what their take on my sort of things I have about my face, basically. Um, from like an actual prof professional perspective. Anyway, this morning I am being reunited with Bentley. I'm so excited because I just love their cars. I love driving them. I love the brand. I'm working on a special project with them and that is today and then I get to keep the car for the weekend and i've done this before and honestly the hardest part is giving back the car last time i gave it back on monday morning and sunday night i actually stayed in the car stayed in the car like i was parked up outside my house and i just sat in the car for a little while because i loved it so much i just love being in it so we're going to shoot that this morning and then i am going to soho farmhouse this weekend with my sister and belly and belly and i have been 
working very hard behind the scenes to get something out on the podcast tomorrow and that's coming out tomorrow so I feel like we are very well deserving of a nice country break because we have been working round the clock on this and I feel like hopefully everyone will really enjoy it and like it and I'm just kind of excited to get it out now. The finishing thing should be coming to me today and then it's like a tiny little change that I'm just waiting on and then it will be coming out on Monday. So I am kind of nervous, I think, to see what people say, but I know that it's something, I know it's something that I really, really wanted. It will be announced on tomorrow's podcast episode. So if you aren't subscribed to what I know now, go and subscribe. I will leave a link to it down below or you can literally just search what I know now where you normally listen to your podcasts. What do I have on my face? Let's put some future dew on. It is such life, this stuff. Actually, I feel like I've already put it on. Ooh, maybe I'll put some more on. <laughs> you can just see how plump my skin looks. I feel like normally my under eye bags kind of sag a bit and they're not doing that right now from the mesotherapy yesterday. Okay, I need to finish my face. Done! And I'm just finishing off with a bit of this Lancome. There we go. I was kind of feeling the all black vibes today, feeling very sassy, ready for a day with Bentley. So I put on a little red lipstick. This is one from By Terry. I have my Amelia Liani earrings on and I actually have a men's jumper on from the NPL 007 range and it's so soft and snug. I have this super old, this must be like 10 years old, Hermit Lang blazer. If anyone has any good blazer recommendations for short, petite people, please let me know because I have returned hundreds of blazers over the years and this is the only one I own because it's the only one that fits me properly <laughs> and the one that I actually like and doesn't look too oversized, like oversized blazers just don't suit me, it just looks weird. Then I have my Helmet Lang leather pants, YSL boots, black Fendi bag, I'm ready for my baby. <laughs> oh, I still have so much lipstick on my teeth, look. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm actually going to go and take the Stone Rose palette for my mum because I know she wants it so badly. So these, this is what I'm giving my mum. The Stone Rose palette from Charlotte Tilbury and Sarah Chapman, this Christmas set. It has a uh, morning um, facial and an evening facial in it. That is what she wanted from my bag of stuff. I did a giveaway in my last vlog of things, basically, like nice beauty things for you guys, and I'm gonna do another one now. This is gonna be Amelia's beauty bag. So if you want to win my beauty bag, make sure you are following me on Instagram. My username is at Amelia Liana. Go and like my latest post, which is this one on the screen, and comment down below using the hashtag Amelia Liana Vlogs to enter, and it is open worldwide. Oh my gosh, this beautiful baby has just arrived, ready for us to play. Hello, hello, my gorgeous. Oh my gosh. What do you think of the Bentley, huh? Hop, hop. This is a beaut car. This I'm is actually, I've never driven a car this big before. I once got in my, one of my friend's big cars and just sat there and I was like, cool, that was fun. <laughs> I just wanted to sit in it. Do you know what? This but one's bigger than, than the is, last one. This is way bigger. Yeah, Here we go. Bigger. Right, let's reverse, shall we? Did you start the car? I don't think you did. <laughs> that would help. All right. It's rock and roll, babies. Okay. Where to, Pia? <sighs> The bar. <laughs> the bar, it's a Friday. I'll be your designated driver happening in this car. Oh my God, it drives so smoothly. It's, it's just actually crazy. not normal. He was like, this is a much bigger render than the car you had last time. It will go very fast, very quickly. And I was like, oh my God. And I, it, I mean, look at this. It's so pretty. It's so crazy. Whenever I'm in such a beautiful car, the amount of people that stop you and let you go, <laughs> because they just want to admire the car <laughs> is incredible. We have just filmed the most epic video <laughs> ever. I'm so excited. I really this. got in the zone there, I think. Yeah. Got, you channeled I, you your inner. Really, I wonder if it, I've put it up already, but if I have, I have to go watch it on my Instagram because I really, this, yeah. I really challenged my inner Bond girl there. 007. Oh, 
I felt cool. Yeah. Should I go put on a pink dress now? <laughs> no, this is the new you. It is the new me. The I new think you. so. Kind of like sassy. A no, little sassy. A tiny bit. Okay, how do we fix this thing? Because I need to sing some Christmas songs. How oh, wait, do let me do that. Let me songs? do that. Okay. I say fix it like it's broken. We haven't even tried to <laughs> sync up our phones yet. Candy canes and silver lanes are glowing. A merry little Christmas. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. The very next day, you can see how far Amelia is away from the curve. <laughs> uh, this is what I need in my life because I never know. How do people tell? Very important dog food. Oh, my bulbs. Let's have a look. Let's see if my lamp now works. Oh, yeah. Yay! How cute. That looks so nice. I love it. Oh, good, I have a working lamp. In my guest bathroom. I've never had a guest for bathroom before, so I am maximizing that term and saying guest bathroom all the time because I feel really fancy when you say the word guest bathroom, you know? In my guest bathroom is a space for a mirror and lights. And I went to a bit mad on the Black Friday sale. Oh, ordered from one of my fave home websites, Graham and Green. I have to say my parcel was delayed every time I've ordered from Graham and Green in my life. There's always something wrong. Like always either they've sent the wrong stuff or my parcel is delayed. So it's never like you pay, don't bother if you order from them paying for like a faster, quick delivery because it doesn't happen. Now I just pay for like the standard delivery. Ooh, that's a lid. I know it's gonna be delayed. Oh my God, this could be so nice. So the bathroom has the most amazing wallpaper, which I'll show you in a second. It's like little pineapples and I wanted something that wouldn't take away from that, obviously. So the mirror looks like this. I'll show it to you properly when it's in the bathroom. It's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean that. But let's go and put this down there. Got a bit of fluff on me. So this is my guest bathroom, and up here I have some room for some wall lamps, which I need to buy. I bought the wrong size, I was waiting for them. And I'm gonna put a mirror here in the center. All right, let's have a look. What do we think, guys? Let me know. Oh, yay! Oh, that works so nicely, I think. What do you think? Oh, that's so cool. It looks really nice, it's such a good size. That is a great size, and I like the kind of antique feel of the mirror. I didn't want anything too modern or too classic. I feel like that doesn't work in this house. Yes! Now, when I wash my hands, well, I don't use this bathroom. <laughs> it's a guest bathroom. <laughs> See what I did there? We loved using the term guest bathroom. But now you can see what I mean, like, it just needed a mirror in this space. I mean, I need to clean it properly, not with my hands. <laughs> but now when you wash your hands, you can actually see yourself, which is great. It really needed that. I just need some lights. I might order some from Pookie, but then I wanted to kind of wait for the sales again because I'm sure they'll do some winter sales um, for Christmas and stuff. You guys will be very happy to know my office has stayed neat for a total of like three days. Looks still the same and I have been keeping my laptop here, using it only here every day. And then next week I actually wanna do a little vision board for 2020. I did one, not last year, the year before that. And I didn't keep it when I was moving, but I took a picture of it and it's really interesting to go back and see. So I'm gonna do that next week and fill this all up so that every morning when I start or every time I come into my office, I have that vision board to refer to and kind of inspire me. And I'll talk you through that more next week. Thank you for everyone who recommended putting plants and photo frames in my office. I didn't even think of that when I was in the zone. So I'm actually gonna do that. I have some photo frames in storage which I need to get out and I need to get some little plants or something, I think for sure. If anyone knows what are really easy plants to keep alive, like cactuses, 
I'm not sure. And then in this room, what I'm gonna do basically, I think, this is my plan so far. So here is where my mirror is gonna go in between two wardrobes. And I think this is the best place for it. it kind of fits really nicely in this little groove. Either on this wall here or this wall, I'm gonna build a shoe and bag rack. I kind of like everything to be displayed together. I love my shoe storage in my room, but I, it's not enough. I still have so many shoes and bags in storage and I actually just want one big wall, I think. So I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Let's call this wall A and this wall B and let me know what you think would be better. It's just that that one's a bit sloped. And then I think I'm going to keep my dressing table here, but I still haven't even put in um, makeup or anything in here. I need to do that <laughs> stop living out of this bag. And then I think I'm going to put this mirror in my office on the kind of the back wall. And then I'm not sure where to put this print, which I love so much. I just love prints. I don't get art like I find art really really confusing <laughs> and I I'm so particular I don't really I've never loved a piece of art but I love so many prints so I'm not sure where I'll put this but I think whatever wall that I don't use for my shoe and bag wall basically I'll put that up there and then I might have one rack I think maybe of just coats or like pretty new in pieces or something I'm not really sure but right now in here is storage basically and like shoe boxes up there so yeah, that is me planning out my walk-in wardrobe dressing room. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put an island in here either. I might put like a little poof or something because I wanna use the space to film outfits and stuff and I feel like it will just cram up the room too much. I really like my dressing table and I like it being next to the window as well. But that is going to be it from me today. I will see you on my podcast tomorrow morning, Monday morning. I hope you guys are excited to hear my news tomorrow, what I am coming out with. Um, I'm excited to see. And yeah, we'll see you on Tuesday with another vlog. Mwah. Bye guys.